here in Brasilia for the United States. It's the 11 that started the tournament against New Zealand, Kate. Well, tactically, they'll play a little bit different. Lloyd will sit higher. Tobin Heath will play on the right with Pugh pinching in, and she is the key. Sweden have gone out at this stage of the last two Olympics. How do they line up? Watch for number 17, Carolyn Sager, the veteran and team captain, is an energetic presser with an eye for playing in teammates in between defenses. It's knockout soccer here in the capital city, Brasilia. We must have a wish now. Alex Morgan, and the cross comes in. It's a good one. And Kelly O'Hare is in some space. Tornis. He floats it in. The header comes in, cleared off the line. Alex Morgan got there first. Now it's Klingenberg. Good start by the United States. My ball four here to Morgan. Bryan with the shot and it's tipped over. Corner kick. Hedvig Lindahl, the experienced Swedish goalkeeper, calling to action in the first three minutes. That was a key thing for the United States is get. Sit on the edge of the six-yard box, spins to the near post, and it almost finds her. Lindvall. It's a Swedish header that gets there first. The cross comes into the back post. It's off the top of the crossbar, and it's a goal kick. And that was close. Caroline Sager lofting the ball back into the penalty area. It's time to reach the final of that tournament. Tobin Heath, the left footed towards the near post there's a flick on and it almost fell to Alex Morgan at that near again Heath is in space on the right hand side that was a ball into the near post Fisher goes to ground this time and was fouled by Carly Lloyd and referee today Anna Marie Keeley from News and at the moment the United States circulating the ball nicely around that Swedish penalty area but well it looked like a decent challenge on Carly Lloyd who went to ground but the referee from New Zealand has spotted the foul, and the USA have an opportunity. Right hand dominant. Tobin Heath is wide open, back on her favoured left foot. The cross towards the back post, and it's just over the head of Ali Long. Canar and the Olympic semi-final. Fizzed in towards the edge of the penalty area. Lovely control, first time by... Oh, barking at her defenders. In comes the cross, and it reaches Carly Lloyd at the back post. She's claiming it came off a Swedish defender last... And the referee says goal kick, and there's the United States player down on the field. Let's take another look at this. Service right into the danger area from Tobin Heath. Carly Lloyd's the first one to get in there, but you get to see the little bit of challenges in between Alex Morgan and her defender. And Morgan is down. And take another look. You get to see those two battling each other against Jakobsen. Just clutching the lower portion of it at the group stage. As Alex Morgan is into the penalty area. It's an excellent block by Sembrance. Pia Sundhager talking to us about warnings. Klingenberg lost it to the penalty area. Lloyd, I think, was in an offside position. Didn't feel like she could go for that ball. It fell nicely to Alex Morgan about 10 yards out. Reservice in off that throw in. Um, underneath her in Manaus is Heath against Rubinson. The cross now O'Hara into the penalty area to Pew. That's a lovely touch into the penalty area. Now was Carly Lloyd's run blocked off? She felt so. By Samuel's son, she went to ground and the New Zealand referee disagreed of the year. Here's Pew. Alex Morgan making a run down the centre. Alex Morgan is in for Morgan on the left foot. She skips around the goalkeeper. Lindahl is back in net. The cross comes in. Carly Lloyd is there. And did Lindahl get a right hand to that? It's smothered away off the goal line. Lloyd almost with her third goal of these Olympic Games so far. Once again, combination play between Mallory Pugh and Alex Morgan. More space on the right for Tobin Heath. Finds O'Hara. Heath. O'Hara. Plenty of space to work with. Here. Working against Samuelson. Back it goes to Long. Long chips it towards Carly Lo uh, Lloyd in the penalty area. Just a bit too much on that. Half an hour gone. Against Johnston. Gets the ricochet. Shailen again. The cutback. Johnston gets back. Recovers well. And can seize the corner kick. The second for Sweden. Shailen. By Brian is a good one. But it's picked up by Dahlqvist. She chips it into the penalty area. The flick on by Blackstein Eulsen. Hope Solo's off her line to punch clear. And Sweden are just pegging back the United States here at the moment. Dahlqvist again. Two games. She floats it towards the back post. Hope Solo gets it. He's got to get in line. Here's Pugh approaching the penalty area. Slides it in. Carly Lloyd, the flag has gone up. The save is made by Lindahl anyway. And the rebound is flashed over the crossbar by Mallory Pugh. 
The flag was up very early. It looked tight. So Mallory Pugh likes to pinch in. And this is what she's looking for. She's looking for... O'Hara. Pugh making a run on the edge of the 18-yard area. It's an excellent service in. Pugh is there. The overhead kick is just why Julie Johnston was there. And Alex Morgan, too. And it wasn't far wide. One... And we'll see how the United States handle the pitch conditions attacking the goal away to our left in the second half. All square in Brasilia. The United States have had much more to CSN tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And don't forget the Premier League return noon on air at 6.30 Eastern. CNBC, the opener is going to qualify. Well, the ball... Bounce kindly for Lloyd. In the end, it's an awkward one, and it's a free kick. It's handball against Jessica Samuelson. And here's Alex Morgan. Taken short. Back to Carly Lloyd. She makes, takes it more central, but drags the shot. And she'll be disappointed with that. Trying to create the angle, the exact angle that you described. And it opened up a little bit for Carly Lloyd. Yeah, she passes it to Tobin Heath to get it more central, to improve her angle. Takes a long touch to get her free right. Just doesn't benefit. It's not hit with a bit more pace. Tobin Heath on the rampage, and she's fouled. And this is another free kick. It's Darkvist with the challenge. Tobin Heath still on the ground. And this is a more central area. That may also... Heath has got the angle with the left foot as well. Lloyd sets up. Strikes it, and he wasn't far over the crossbar. Bindar was sprawling away to her right-hand side. Carly Lloyd, a little duck from O'Hara. Then you get Mike along providing that screen that we saw so effective from Columbia. Just get... Mallory Pugh. And she's clipped. And we're, we're getting close to yellow car territory here. Sophia Jakobsen. And there is a rule in the law book that's uh, arm raised. And he goes towards the near post. It doesn't beat O'Hara to prevent the counter-attack. There's Rubinson. Down the line looking for Lotta Shailin. And is this the first yellow card? Yeah, we were on the cusp. Definitely on the cusp, and there's the first yellow card of the game. It may have been a yellow card offence anyway, but the persistent fouls were... And it's Blackstenius, the substitute for Sweden, who's in. Blackstenius scores! The 20-year-old substitute for Sweden on the counter-attack has given Pia Sundhager's team the lead here in this Olympic quarter-final in Brasilia. An hour gone. Hope Solo beaten for the third time in the competition. The inquest is ongoing for the United States. Delight for Sweden. They lead by a goal to nil. Get to see the ball straight. Look at that counter-attack split in between the two seams. Julie just... Mahera with a long-range effort. O'Hara is a converted forward. Very successful at Stanford and in the WPS and the NWSL can play... A, a Sembrandt. Now Pugh on the ball from Brian. Mallory Pugh, and she gets underneath it and sends it high and wide. Mallory Pugh looking to lay off to Brian, gets it back. Still Mallory Pugh. There's the low cross to the near post. Rapino again, drills it across. Lloyd is there, it's over her. Sweden effectively playing with 10. Into the box it goes. Oh, it might fall here in the penalty here it does! It's an equaliser for Alex Morgan! It's a break for the United States. A mistake at the back by Sweden. And it's a vital goal! for Alex Morgan unbridled relief on the bench and on the field the United States draw level at 1-1 with 13 minutes remaining this goal is going to cause controversy because the Swedish players I think turned off they're waiting for the United States to play it out of bounds Wonder Linda, they haven't cleared it yet back it comes towards Morgan with the left foot he's blocked Desperate defending by the Swedes. Klingenberg on the edge of the area as Lani slides again. Thinks about the shot. Sager is the defender. Back on the left foot. She floats it. What a save. Lindahl with the opposite left hand, the left hand to palm it wide. For corner number 10. Here's a look. To the penalty area in Crystal Dunn. 
The header is Carly Lloyd on the right-hand side is Mallory Pugh. Here's Pugh on the right foot. She sends it over. More good played on the edge of that Swedish penalty area by the USA. US settling for extra time. Heath relies on the referee and she blows her whistle. And we'll need an extra 30 minutes to try and separate these sides. A thrilling second half. Black Stanius put Sweden ahead. Alex Morgan with a... Get relegated for that one anyway. Very late on, ruled out. That one will count. Solo went very early. And Sweden. Well, the first half was very good. The second half was a little bit of a job of it as well. Just wasn't going to race around. Now, what the what, sir? Is this penalty shoot out? And she obliges. Oh, comes up with a magnificent. Morgan Bryan. Oh, Solo almost got it. Press has put it over the top. Sweden have a kick to win it. And it all comes down to this. Oh, Sweden about to gate crash. Oh, Dahlqvist wins it for Sweden. And the United States, the reigning Olympic champions and world champions, go out in the quarterfinals.